Hi people, it's Sarkovist here, coming at you with the Weekly Roundup, where I cover three random gaming stories from the past week. The much anticipated remastered edition of The Last of Us is on its way, but in the meantime Naughty Dog have released some in-game screenshots to tantalise fans. Right now you are seeing some of the HD 1080p screenshots and the detail is pretty much bursting off the screen. As well as being 1080p, the game will also run at 60 frames per second. Hitting both these milestones is very impressive. Far too often one of the two has to be sacrificed in favour of the other. Re-releasing The Last of Us seems like a great business move. Although the game originally released to universal critical acclaim, it didn't have much brand power as it was a new IP. However now, The Last of Us is regarded by many gamers as a stellar AAA title and its reputation could help out a lot in terms of sales. A new trailer for Rainbow Six Siege has been released that shows a more cinematic version of what we saw in the original E3 gameplay demo. Rainbow Six Siege is a multiplayer first person shooter where coordination and careful planning are the keys to success. Also the environments are destructible allowing you to breach and clear with deadly efficiency. While this new trailer is nice to look at, I would advise checking out the original E3 demo to get a better idea of what the game is about. After introducing the Xbox bundle without the Kinect, Microsoft have reported a double in sales in the United States according to internal data. This probably won't come as a shock to many people. After all, the inflated price tag that Kinect created made choosing the Xbox One an expensive option. Clearly Microsoft were dead set on pushing the Kinect as a fundamental part of the Xbox One experience, but it seems as if they have accepted that customers don't like being forced to buy a peripheral. It may very well be the case that the importance of the Kinect will begin to lessen now as we go deeper into the console's lifecycle. This was the weekly roundup. If you have anything to say on the topics covered, be sure to voice your opinion in the comments below. As always people, thanks very much for watching and see you next time.